all I do is work. All I, all I, all I do is grind. So in the book of Genesis, in the very beginning of everything, uh, the Word of God says that God created Adam and God created Eve. I'm going to paraphrase a lot of this. I'm going to try to give this whole story in about four minutes. Anyway, so God uh, puts Adam and Eve in this beautiful place, the Garden of Eden, and He says to them that all of this is yours. All the fruit from all the trees, enjoy yourself. Except just that one tree. That one tree there in the corner of the garden, that is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And if you eat from that tree, you'll die. Everything else is yours. So Adam and Eve are like, okay, all these trees are ours, just that one tree we don't eat from. Got this, God, no problem, right? And there wasn't. Till one day, Satan shows up and appears to Eve and says to Eve, hey, Eve, how about this tree? And Eve says to Satan, um, no, God says if we eat from that tree, we'll die. Well, Satan is a father of lies, and Satan speaks to Eve and says, no, you're not going to die. If you eat from that tree, you'll just know as God knows. And God doesn't want you to know as he knows. And Eve is like, hmm, well, you probably know the story. Eve ate from that forbidden tree. Called Adam over. Adam, try this fruit. Adam tried the fruit. He ate from the tree as well. Well, the truth of the matter is they did not physically die at that moment. But they were banished out of the garden that God created for them. And to me, death is the absence of life. So when they were removed from that garden where the presence of God was and God was life, they were removed from life and they were dead. They just hadn't fallen over yet. But at that moment, that's where sin entered the world and the curse of death entered the world and the curse of death reigned over mankind for thousands of years. The Word of God says that all have sinned. In other words, none of us were unscathed by sin. The Bible says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, separation from God. But God so loved us, and He saw sin separate us from Him. And But in, 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 the, in the book of John, it's, it's John chapter 3, verse 16. In fact, Tim Tebow, who was a quarterback, used to put that scripture underneath his eye when he played uh, in the games. It was John 3.16. And John 3.16 said, But God so loved us that he sent Jesus, that whoever would believe in him would not die, would not perish, but would have eternal life. Because God looked upon his children and he saw that sin was in everyone and sin separated them from from himself. And if you're a father or a mother, you know separation from your children is great pain. You want to be with them. You love them. So that is God. And so God so cared about us and so loved us that he sent Jesus to die in our stead. Jesus was God's spirit, which was made flesh in demand. Jesus Christ had dwelt amongst us. And Jesus was the only one who lived his life, a perfect life and was murdered in that perfection. But being perfect and shedding his blood, his perfect blood, it broke open what was sealed since Adam and Eve, since sin and the curse of death first entered this world. It opened up again our connection back to God. But it's a gift. Because let me repeat the scriptures again. The scriptures say, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the very next sentence in the Bible says, but the gift of God, is eternal life through Jesus Christ. The Word also says that it's not by works that we're saved. There's nothing we can do to earn heaven. The Bible says it's not by works that we're saved, lest we boast, but it's a gift of God. It's Jesus Christ. All one has to do to be assured of their salvation, to be assured of their forgiveness of sins, to be assured that they will live in eternity with the love who, with the, with the, with, with the one who loves them more than a mother and father loves them, is to accept God's answer for our sin problem. We have no answer. There's no other name under heaven by which men and women can be saved except for Jesus Christ. He is our only answer. And by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and as the answer of our sin problem, 
God said that if we confess with our sins that Jesus is Lord of our life, surely we will be saved. I don't know about you, but for myself and definitely for my children and my grandchildren, I want them to be assured of their eternity. I love them so much, I don't want them off on the wrong path. I don't want them thinking the wrong thing. I want them accepting Jesus because there's no other way, there's no other answer. There's no other ladder to heaven except for what our Father in heaven did for us. He provided a way and the truth and the life. And that would be Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Hope this message blessed you today. It's the truth. It's the word of God. Uh, thank you for uh, being here. To subscribe to SimonArius.net, follow these simple steps. Go to SimonArius.net. On the home page, scroll down to the bottom. Where prompted, enter your first name along with your best email address and click Join Grind Messages. Thanks for watching.